everyone, this is Gail from Pretty Presets, and today I'm here to help Amy answer a few Manic Monday questions. So we had a question from Jamie Crouch that asked if there is a levels equivalent in Lightroom. So there is not a levels slider in Lightroom, but Lightroom does have sliders that do the same thing as levels. So I'm going to start here in Photoshop and I'm going to show you what levels is and how I was taught to use it. So I'm going to click down here on the local adjustments or the adjustments and get my terminology all mixed up now that I use Photoshop and Lightroom. But I'm going to click on levels and when I was taught to use levels, basically I was taught to um, adjust my white point using this slider and I would always drag it over just a little bit, not too much. Then I would bring up my midtones so they almost look like they were brought up too much and then I would reduce my blacks just a little bit to kind of bring back some of that punch okay and this is kind of what I would get before and after using levels when I would do it in Photoshop so I'm gonna jump over to Lightroom and I'm gonna do the same thing in Lightroom that I have done over here in Photoshop so I'm going to use the black slider, the white slider, and I may adjust my shadows or exposure depending on which one works best to adjust my midtones. I'm going to use the white slider to adjust my whites, the blacks to adjust my blacks, and the highlight or the shadows and exposure to affect my midtones. So I'm going to click on the Alt or Option key as I drag my blacks, and you're going to see that the screen goes white. I'm going to pull it down until I start to see some clipping. Now I want to see a little bit of clipping. Typically, um, I don't want to see tons and tons, but I want to see clipping on other places besides my subject. So I know my subject's here, and I've drugged this down, and so far I'm not seeing any clipping on my subject. So then I'm going to adjust my whites the same way. I'm going to click on the Alter option, and it's going to go black, and I'm going to start to see some clipping. And most of where I'm going to see clipping is typically in the sky um, or the super bright highlights. I'm going to pull that up. And then um, I'm going to click on my shadows and drag it to the right just a little bit. But I'm, it's not really affecting my subject. And that's kind of what I would want to do is maybe brighten up my subject just a teeny bit. What it's a brightening up are these, these deep shadows here. Um, I could adjust my highlights maybe to do that and I can see it's a, a little bit doing that. If I really want to do it I'll just adjust my exposure just a teeny bit like that. So we're going to compare what we see and I don't have a really great way to compare this so I'm just going to drag my windows around here and I'm going to show you let me decrease the size here a little bit kind of what I'm getting using the sliders in Lightroom versus the levels in Photoshop and you can see that it's very very similar there are almost there are very little differences I've um, got very similar tones in my subject I've got very similar tones in my background I've got similar tones in my grass so is there a level slider in Lightroom? No, but it, are there sliders that do the exact same thing and will help you get the exact same results? Yes. Hope that helps you understand a little bit more about how to use the blacks and white sliders in Lightroom. Enjoy your day.